Okay. 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 Today I'm going to show you how to cut 75 pound yellowfin tuna. Uh, you're going to need a very sharp uh, knife and a serrated blade knife. If you don't have a serrated blade, you can still use a regular knife. It's just going to be much harder. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is cut off the excess from the head, then both the collars. Then we cut down uh, the belly side, cut down the top, uh, the top side, cut those two oils in half. Then remove. Uh, the spine, then remove those two ones. It's good. So, uh, let's start. The first part we're going to do is remove the head. And you're going to take your serrated blade, go to the first notch uh, of the uh, tuna. The, this is a tuna with the head and the guts already taken out. So, the first notch on the spine, you want to go right to that with the serrated blade and cut right through that. Next thing we're going to do is take off the collar. You're going to come in right, or, right behind the collar at a very steep angle. Keep your knife pressed up against the collar and move it. Cutting the side off. And flip it over and do the same thing to the other side. Next, we're going to remove this, this piece of the uh, tuna right here. We're going to start by making a cut to uh, about the middle of the belly. Then after that, you can see the triangle on the inside. Just remove that. Next, we're going to cut from here all the way to the tail. You just want to stay right uh, it's barely to the top of the uh, middle uh, part. And just start off, just go maybe a centimeter or an inch into the, uh, the fish. Now we're cutting, uh, we're cutting on the side. You want to stay, keep the knife pressed up against the bone with a slight downward angle, so like, like, like this. Make many cuts, just keep going a little bit deeper and a little deeper. Once you get to this part, uh, depending on how you cut it, because the way the bones are, they go in like that. And there's one bone that connects to uh, both of these parts. So if you cut it on the bottom, you're going to have to go back and uh, recut the top part off to remove this loin. That was just how I did it. So you go back and just cut right here where the old meat. And remember to keep the knife pointed towards the bones so you don't cut into the meat. Keep it flat, press towards the bone. And you want to keep doing this, keep, keep cutting it until you reach the middle bone which runs across the middle of the uh, tuna like this. After you do so, you spin the tuna around. You're going to do the same thing on this side. Now on this side, uh, before we actually start cutting, the skin is uh, rather thick along the, uh, the fin. So we're going to remove some of the skin first so it'll be easier once we get to this point. Keep the, uh, the blade flat up against the, uh, the tuna. Keep the, uh, the blade pointed away from the tuna meat. You don't want to cut into the tuna, you want to cut away from it. Going back like this, you, you, you can press it up against the tuna now because you have the fin to block you from actually going into the tuna. So feel free to press up against it. We're going to do the same thing we're doing on the other side. Stay right above the middle part. Just send it to an inch in. Right across it. Now once you get to the part, right after the, uh, the fin, the fin's already cut off here, but once you get to that part, 
you want to turn the blade upward because right here at the spine, uh, the meat actually uh, goes from being flat to curved out. So you want to keep all that meat. So you turn the knife face up like this. I run down like that. So just as the same as before, keep going, keep the blade fly up against the bone and cut down the, the fish. You don't want to saw it, you just want to keep it pressed and press with your hand. Just keep going. And once you get to this part, you can actually push down on the bone with all your body weight. Keep going. Remember, you just want to keep cutting it until you're touching the middle bone all the way through. After you've done that, we're going to now take both of these loins off. Uh, there's a bone that runs along this line right here. So we want to cut just to the left of that. So then we can remove this one and then cut through the bone to remove that one. So start maybe just about a centimeter uh, to the left of that, of that line. You, you just want to cut barely into it. Yeah, cut all the way down. Get a little bit more into it. Now at this point, uh, while you're cutting, since that bone is on our right side, you want to keep the blade pressed up against that bone and then cut down. Just keep cutting until you've cut all the way down to the uh, to the bone that runs like that. After you've done that, take your serrated blade again, and you're gonna cut the uh, through the bones at the front to remove that one. Now, to remove the bones, you're going to first make a cut at the front, about where uh, the bones meet this line right here, so about right here. Just cut that off. Come back here, and right underneath the first bone that, run, that runs along the loin, right underneath it, keep the blade pressed up against it, a little, uh, the angle a little tilted up towards it. Keep getting underneath them, and going upward. After you get about half of them like that, then go back to the front and keep your knife all on the bones while you're, while you're cutting it. You don't want to cut into the meat, you just want to cut the bones off. Gotten down to about the same level as the belly. So we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna make a cut down to that part. And then once we get down to this part on the side of the bone, we're gonna cut across to remove the bones. See, I'm cutting, I'm, I'm scooping the bones off of the uh, loin. Then if you want to, uh, if you're gonna sell it to somebody or to a restaurant or something, you wanna make it look pretty, any little uh, cuts in it, just uh, keep the, uh, take your knife, point it towards the uh, tail, and then go from the tail to the head, smooth it out. 
cut the tail so it looks flat. A lot of uh, restaurants like to see the inside of the uh, torto or the belly. So we're just gonna go in about an inch away from the front at a very steep angle and just remove the skin off of that one part so we can see the inside. And after that, your first belly is finished. Next, we're going to remove the uh, first top loin. How we're going to do that is, remember we have this bone right here? So we're going to cut through that, but you don't want to cut towards the meat. What we're going to do is we're going to keep the uh, knife against the bone, and I'm going to use this hand. I'm going to use this hand to push it on the other side of the middle spine so we don't cut any of the heat off, just, just the bone. You see I have this, this hand pressing towards the bone and this hand pressing, pressing towards the bone and this hand pressing down. Now to remove the bone from this side, you're going to start at the head part. Just get right behind the bone right underneath it. And then just cut a little bit towards the, uh, towards the bone along the side. Just run down the whole thing. And like before, just keep going a little bit more, a little bit more each cut. After you remove that, uh, as before, if you're going to sell it to somebody or a restaurant, you might want to cut off the tail, make it look clean, get a little bit of the head off. If you have a really big one, uh, the skin at this point is going to be really thick, so you might, once you get sat down to the skin, you might have to give it a very steep angle and cut through the skin. But since we have a small one, it's not going to be too hard. And then, Do a little bit more trimming along it, and this will be ready to go. Okay. So after the first top loin is finished, now we're going to have to remove the spine to get to the other two. So the first thing you want to do is uh, we're going to start with the the belly part of the spine. And we're just going to cut through the skin very quickly. And after that, we're going to just have the uh, knife uh, on the other side, on the bottom part of the middle. And we don't want to cross this line on top. So a very steep angle. Just on the other side, on the bottom part of the middle. We're not passing into the spine. After we have that removed, then you go underneath the spine. Keep the knife pointed towards the spine. You don't want to cut into the fish. Uh, let's just keep it pressed up. As before, just keep making little cuts until you get deeper into it. You want to keep cutting it until you're at the center bone. After we finish that side, we're going to flip it over. Do the same thing on this side. Look through the skin. A very steep angle. Cut off the side part. Once you get to the fin, this part is very thick and very tough. So you might have to saw through that. Uh, after you get past that fin, uh, because the meat is curved like before, uh, you're not going to you don't want to cut at an even angle. You want to cut with the blade on the meat like that and towards the, uh, the fin. So you want to cut away from the meat like this. Okay. 
You remove that, do the same thing as before the belly. Just get right underneath the bone. And then cut all the way down. Remember, keep the knife pressed up on the bone, a little bit of an angle towards it so you don't cut into the meats. Keep making cuts until you're touching, until you touch the center bone. After you finish that side, we're gonna you can now remove the spine. Take your serrated blade. Cut through the tail so you get to that spine. And make a little cut around so you don't have any meat in the way. Now you want to keep the blade uh, flat on the meat and cut towards the spine. We're gonna do that all the way down. After you remove the spine, we're going to now separate the two loins. Now you're going to want to cut just to the right side of the middle bone. You start on this side, and uh, you don't have to worry really too much about cutting through it. So you can point the blade inwards towards it as you cut. And you're going to just keep doing this, keep making this cut until you cut it all the way through the skin and separate them completely. Now once again, if you want to make it look pretty, you sell it to somebody or a, or a restaurant, take the blade, run it along it, make it look smooth, cut off the tail part, make it look flat, head part, If you, little, if you have a little excess, just get right underneath it, cut up towards it, cutting it off. Our second top one. And for the final loin and the belly part, to remove the uh, bone, first point you're going to have to cut at is where these two bones meet. So right there, just go a little bit over, right beside it, and cut down. After that, we're gonna remove this bone. Same thing as before. We're gonna cut just right on the other side. You could uh, keep the knife blade on that bone as you cut. Go all the way down. Keep making this cut deeper and deeper until you remove that bone completely. Remember to keep the knife pointed towards the bone so that comes to the meat. After you remove that, we're going to do what we did on the uh, first belly part. And remove this bone, get right underneath the bone. Keep the knife blade up against the bone. Keep the blade pointed towards the bone. Take about half of them. Start from the top. Remember to keep the knife blade against the bone. Just keep cutting along it. Until we get about flat with this belly part. After that, same thing as before. We're going to remove the bone. Just go to about the, the same level as his belly, and then cut, remove the bone out. Like that. Like that. Like
Vamos lá, vamos lá, vamos lá. 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 Vamos lá, A lot of restaurants like to see what the uh, Toro part, the belly part looks like. Again, so we're gonna very steep angle. Just cut into it, about an inch or two away from it. Just cut off the skin. So they can see you on the inside. And our final loin is finished. <laughs> That's it.